Hello guys, so in this video, I'm going to teach you the basic operations of the hexadecimal number system. So, but before we proceed with that, let us discuss first what is hexadecimal number system. So, hexadecimal number system, or sometimes called hex, is actually a number system that is made up of 16 symbols. So, it is actually in base 16. So, hexadecimal uses... The digits of the decimal number system 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, and 6 uh, extra symbols. The uh, 6 extra symbols are A, B, C, D, E, and F, which represents the numbers 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 16. So you see, in hexadecimal number system, it uses the number 0 to 9. Then we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. But it is represented by the, the letters A, B, C, D, E, F. So meaning to say, after 9, we should represent 10 with the, num with the letter A. 11 with the letter B, 12 with the letter C, 13 with the letter D, 14 with the letter E, and 15 with the letter F. Let us now proceed with the first uh, operation in hexadecimal, which is the hexadecimal addition. Say you are given the number B2 plus A. So this is in base 16. Okay. So how do we add these uh, hexadecimal numbers? We said earlier that the hexadecimal number comprises of the 10 symbols of the decimal number system 0 to 9 and the letters A, B, C, D, E, and F. So how do we add this uh, hexadecimal number? So given B2 plus A. So we start operating again at on the last digits of the given numbers. So we have 2 plus A. So we know that A is 10 and 2 is 2. So adding A plus 2, that is 10 plus 2, which is 12. So 12 is still a valid hexadecimal number because it is still on the bracket between 0 to 15. But 12 is represented by the letter C. So we don't put 12 here, but rather we put the letter C. And then we bring down B. So the answer is Okay, let's have another example of hexadecimal addition. Say for example, you are given the numbers in hexa 3C7 plus 4A. So again, this is in hexa. So we start operating here. 7 plus A, that is 17. So 17 is already an invalid uh, hexadecimal number. We need to subtract 16 here since we are in base 16 to make it valid. So 17 minus 16 is 1. Okay, so 1 goes here and the number of times we subtracted 16 is 1. So we put it as a carry. Okay, then we proceed. We have 1 plus C, which is 1 plus 12, is 13, plus 4 is again 17. So again, 17 is invalid, so we subtract 16. Again, that is 1, so we put here 1, and then we carry 1, since we only subtracted 16 once. And then, we add 1 plus 3, we have 4. So the answer is 4, 1, 1. Let's have another example. So say, for example, you have C8 plus... 7, D, plus 2, F. So these are all in hexadecimal numbers. So again, we add 8 plus D is 13. So we have 8 plus 13 is 21. F is 15. So 21 plus 15 is 36. So 36 is invalid um, 
hexadecimal number so we subtract 16 so 36 minus 16 is 20 still 20 here is invalid so we subtract 16 so this now becomes 4 so 4 now is a valid hexadecimal hexadecimal number so we will stop uh, subtracting 16 so we have here 4 so if you notice we subtracted 16 twice so that means we have to carry 2 okay then 2 plus C, this is 12 plus 2, we have 14, plus 7, 21, plus 2, 23. So 23 again is invalid, so we subtract 16. 23 minus 16 is 7, so we have here 7. 7 now here is valid, so 7. So we subtracted 16 once, so we carry 1, then we bring down 1. So the answer is 174. So let's have another example. Say you are given 4, B, 2, 7, plus, so this is in hexadecimal, plus 9, 8, B, 6. So how do we add these hexadecimal numbers? So we have 7 plus 6 is 13. 13 still is a valid hexadecimal number, so 13 is represented by the letter D. So we have here D. B plus 2, that is 11 plus 2. 11 plus 2 is again 13, so we have D. B plus 8, that is 11 plus 8, which is 19. That is invalid, so we subtract 16. We have 3, so we put here 3. How many times we subtract with 16? 1, so we carry 1. We had 1 plus 4, that is 5, plus 9 is 14. So 14 is E. So the answer is E3DD.